this video is for the demo of a game called The Isle Tide Hotel. The settings here, uh, it actually does have a full screen exclusive mode. You also have uh, full screen borderless and window mode. If you choose full screen exclusive, then this will put your monitor into that resolution, which is great. Uh, we have only the one volume control, unfortunately. So there's no separate volume for music. So this is supposed to be a kind of a story driven full motion video detective mystery or something like that. Um, so I'm just going to check the stream looks alright and then we will continue on and see what the game's all about. Okay, that's alright. New game. Afraid not. You have my conviction. You don't know me, but I've found you. It wasn't easy, seeing how you've never met. But her words were persuasive. Once I tracked you down, I went back to her, but she was gone. All I found in the debris was an address, which I've enclosed. I'm going to make sure she's all right. If there's any part of you that cares for your daughter, you'll come too. Signed, R. Price, Private Investigator. Right, well, this is it. The Isle Tide Hotel. What can you tell me about the hotel? Oh, right, yeah, I see. Back me up with a bit of chat and see if I spill. I said I'd keep quiet. Look, if this is some kind of test, I don't appreciate it, mate. God knows what you lot get up to in there. It's even stranger when you leave.
Look, forget the fare, will you? Just get out. Are you, um, hey. Uh, never mind. Just, uh... Excuse me. Welcome back to the Isle Tide Hotel. If only for our final night. I trust you had a pleasant term, Miss Ray. Um. My apologies. I mistook you for somebody else. How may I help? I'm looking for someone. It's rather difficult to keep track of those frequenting the Isle Tide. May I inquire as to whom? Just... someone I used to know. Should you have your eye on a particular patron, the Measuring ceremony begins shortly. If I could just see your invitation, sir. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder that way. I trust you had a pleasant turn. Of course. May I inquire which symbol can be found on the inside of the invitation? You must have seen it, no doubt. <laughs> oh. 
Forgive me, sir. It's just a rather splendid joke. You shouldn't feel bad. You gave it a valiant effort. Cross. <laughs> <laughs> we made a mess of that. <laughs> I, I, I was just. <clears throat> are, you, are you not going in? Or I take it the receptionist wasn't very friendly. <laughs> Something about him. Otherwise, you'd be in there, right? <laughs> Unless you're thinking it over. About me. I'm Christopher. I am uh, looking for someone. Well, she's a lot older now. You mean she's in there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, well, you don't get an invite if everything's okay. I'm here for my daughter too. Oh, she, she's not inside, it's me. I, I don't want to grow up with a dad like this. Anxious. <laughs> Seems like you really care about it. I do. And this place can really change you. Whether that's a good thing or... <clears throat> but, uh, I can help you at least. Get you in if we went together. Let's go in together. You, you, you would do that? You, you would come in with me? Sure. Well, that would be great. <laughs> come on. Yeah, my, my friend here, he convinced me. Hi, I'm Josh Malone. We don't usually allow guests, but as you convinced my Christopher, I won't put you through the test. But we need you to get fitted. Why don't you go get ready, sweetie? I'll see you in there. Oh, sir. <laughs> You'll be following me, speedily. Arms up, sweetie. Let me measure you. Oh, well, do you wish to participate or not? We need to start the exhibition, and if you don't wish to... Why are you measuring? To see if the suit fits, sweetie. It's never just about what we wear, but how we carry it. Key lies in what they value. I create all the experiences here at Isle Tide. A clear vision, varied, so that they can find the true core. But lower my core sheet. I just want to find my chameleon. Somebody who can wear them all to perfection. I'll get one ready for you. Go wait in the bar and I'll summon you all through shortly. Off with you, speedily.
Red or gold? Uh, excuse me? See? Another verse that doesn't notice them. Have you never looked up during the swell celebration? Um. <clears throat> Which is why the balloon should be gold this term. But red is traditional. You said that already. But red is customary. Or well, customary to have, always have someone else take the credit. We need to try something new. What do you think, dear? Uh, can we change the color of the subtitle? Well, actually, it's not a subtitle, is it? It's a um, it's a a choice, you know, the choice menu. Well, I mean, maybe we could try changing this color and see if it works or not. See if it makes a difference. Oops. I think you should stick with red. By any chance have either of you seen... Well, if you're both stuck in the past, perhaps I should leave you all behind. Oh, come back. It's no fun without you. I'm stuck for choice. I'm swayed towards the white lace, but I wore that last term and nothing changed. I'm looking for a girl. Oh my. Who's she wearing? It's hard to keep up, frankly. They always outdo me in the term's latest fashions. I can tell she means a lot to you, the way you failed to look at me. It's perfectly acceptable to do it alone, but I think it's best to have a partner. Am I right? Sure. Well, you should find someone to help you. You realise Dr. Aniston could be anybody. I wonder if he's here. I've got no closer to finding the core this tide. Waste of a suit. Talk to the drunk. Okay. <laughs> You'll move then, Paul. You're not Paul. I'll still be Paul. Forgive about me. I'll be others, some other poor bastard's problem soon.
Hmm. Jumped to me. Um, let's see, the bishop going there. Not really going to help, is it? The knight. Who could the knight go? I guess the knight would actually go forward. You're here to see me, no doubt? Yes. I'm Jordan Hemlock. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've heard. They chatter in their boxes. You see, I've spent more time alone this term and began to ponder the word term. Horrid sounding. Ergo, I've created a petition for the grand elect to change the terminology. What do you think of the word span? Actually, I was hoping you might be able to help me. I'm looking for a young girl. Oh, that's awful. All wrong. You're not going to get very far wording it like that. Where's the context? The connection? If she were important, why did you lose her? You have to draw people in. Give them a reason to listen. The Grand Elect's not going to concern themselves with personal matters like that. You have to... Oh, never mind. Good afternoon, sweeties. Tonight's measuring is underway. So if you could adorn your robes, masks, and follow me speedily, the Grand Elect awaits. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Um, I mean, whenever I look at a game, I'm looking at it from the point of view and the angle of game play, you know. Um, you see, it's hard for me to kind of measure something that is a, like a visual novel or a interactive movie as a game because a lot of the time you're either just reading or watching and there's not a lot of gameplay actually happening. Um, they tend to give you uh, choices, dialogue choices, um, but a lot of the time 
there's no real change in the story. You know, the story is has a start and an end, and you can make different dialogue choices along the way. But the point is, is that you're you're always going to get to the end. So it doesn't really matter what choice you make. Eventually, you're going to get to the end, unless, of course, the game actually um, would kill you, basically, and then you've got to replay or you know start from the side or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if that what happened in this game. There was a game that I uh, watched the trailer for. It might have been this one, and it was actually possible to die in it. Uh, how far that sets you back, I don't know. Um, but apart from that, I don't, I can't say anything about whether the story has uh, branching paths in it, whether your choices do actually uh, change the story the um, in a big way, um, including multiple endings. Um, I can't speak on that because I, I have no idea. I can only talk about what I've seen in the demo. Uh, so, based on that, the only thing else that I can really look at is whether or not the uh, story appeals to me and whether or not the uh, content appeals to me. Um, it's, it's a bit difficult to say because we don't actually know the background of the story. It's, it seems like it's one of those ones where you learn as you go. You know, you learn the past, you learn the story, you learn the characters. So you're basically going in blind. Um, but that makes it difficult because it's giving you dialogue choices and you don't actually know what the best answer is to, to answer it. If you were playing through the game a second time, you would obviously already know if you, you know, you, you know more than what you do the first time. So you'd be able to pick better choices and probably have uh, a more comprehensible uh, be beginning of the game. So because I know nothing about the story, know nothing about the characters, um, the choices I chose, the story was quite awkward. It, it was twisting and, and turning and it just wasn't it wasn't very uh, comprehensible. Um, so, yes, I don't know what to, uh, you know, what, what else I could say about it. Um, there is a mystery there, but it doesn't look like we're with any type of law. It sounds like we're a father looking for a daughter, perhaps. Um, possibly he has an ex-wife and the ex-wife is also looking for the daughter and she sent him the letter to meet her at this place. Um, So that's about all I could really gather from the uh, the introduction, what, we, what we've seen so far, what we've played. Um, I don't know if the, if the daughter was the, the young uh, woman at the beginning uh, that got injected with something. Um, it could be. Uh, but then again, who's the old lady? Um, yeah. And then why, how, how do they all tie in together, you know? Um, 
Yeah. Very, very awkward. Um, if you want to know more, you'd have to obviously get the game. So, yeah, this has been... The Isle Tide Hotel. If you want to try the demo out yourself, you can find it on the Steam Store page. Um, I mean, the, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.